Okay, now let's find the angle that this resultant vector makes with x-axis. Now try and find the angle which this vector is making, the sum of vector a plus b is making with x-axis. Now angle with x-axis will be the same as the angle which it makes with 8 i cap, x component of the vector. 8 i cap is along x-axis. So if you find the angle which the resultant vector is making with 8 i cap, then we have actually found the angle which the resultant vector is making with x-axis. Now that is easy because we have already a ready-made formula for that. Now this vector is summation of these two vector, the resultant vector. This is 8i cap and 6j cap. Now, the resultant vector, if we apply triangular law of addition, would be this. This is the axis. Fine. Now, we want to find this angle. Now, we already have studied to find the angle with one of the comp with one of the vectors. Suppose this is a vector and this is b vector, this is a resultant vector. We know the formula for finding the angle of the resultant vector with a vector. So if we apply that, if you remember, tan phi is equal to b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta. This is the angle phi which the resultant vector makes with a vector. Right? So here are this is a resultant vector and this is summation of these two vector 8i cap and 6j cap so the resultant vector resultant vectors angle with 8i cap would be 6 the magnitude b is the magnitude of the other vector 6 sin theta upon 8 plus 6 cos theta Theta is the angle between the two vectors, which is 90 degree here. Sin theta would be 1, cos theta would be 0. So the angle that we are looking for is tan inverse 6 by 8 or phi phi is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4. This is the angle which the resultant vector makes with x-axis. Okay, so we are learning vectors. You observe that it's pretty simple. There's not much of hectic calculation, at least for now. So I'm giving you another pair of vector and you quickly, if suppose a vector is equal to 2 i cap plus 2 j cap and b vector is equal to i cap plus 2 j cap. Now you quickly give me the magnitude of the summation of a vector and b vector and the angle which that vector will be making with x-axis. So you work it out on your own, take a pen, take a paper and solve this please. Give the magnitude of the resultant vector, the summation of these two vectors and the angle which that resultant vector will be making with x-axis. Get your answer and then uh, listen. And try and do it orally because it's pretty simple. The magnitude is the summation of these two vectors. The magnitude is basically magnitude of 3i cap plus 4j cap. And the magnitude of this, you should have no trouble in finding that it is 5. And the angle phi, which this will be making, would be tan inverse 4 by 3. Okay? Okay, now we have studied something in vector now. We have studied basically what vectors are, what they represent, how, what are the components of the vectors, and how do we do the summation of the vector using triangular law of addition. Now there are other laws of addition which are reserved for later for the sake of simplicity. Nevertheless, we studied the triangular law of addition of vectors and we also studied to break a vector into the components along x-axis and y-axis. Now, on the merit of the discussion we had now, let's play a quiz of a uh, few questions. The rule of the game would be, you will do exactly as I ask you to do. What I ask you to do is, when I give you a problem, you take a pen and paper and solve it. And when I ask you to stop, you stop. And you just check your answer. So you have to be quick. If you're not able to get your answer on time, that means you have not been using pen and paper up till now. So you got to do from now. So the first question, First question is 0.6 i cap 
plus c g cap it's a vector now this vector is a unit vector then find the value of c and you have to do this one orally really this vector is a unit vector and then find the value of c get your answer quickly the value of c would be 0 0.8 it's pretty simple unit vector is the one whose magnitude is 1 so basically the magnitude of this vector should be 1 so root over 0 0.6 squared plus c squared should be equal to 1 this is the magnitude of the vector and that will give you that c is 0 0.8 so my congratulations to everyone who've got the answer question number two there's a vector a vector is equal to 2i cap plus 3j cap now i am asking you to find a unit vector which is in the direction of a vector a vector would have some direction in the xy plane in that particular direction give me a unit vector this obviously is not a unit vector because unit vector is the one whose magnitude is 1 and this one doesn't have a magnitude 1 so it's not a unit vector this vector is direct pointing in a particular direction in the xy plane in that particular direction give me a unit vector work this one out if we draw it in the xy plane it's 2 i cap and 3 j cap now if you do the triangular law of vector addition this is this would be somewhat the direction of the given vector now this vector is pointing in this direction and this doesn't have magnitude 1 and I'm asking you to give me the magnitude give me a vector whose magnitude is 1 and pointing in this direction so if you remember when I give you the definition of unit vector I also told you that a unit vector we can you can get a unit vector if you divide the vector by the magnitude of the vector you get a unit vector and we call that a cap so basically I want a cap a cap meaning magnitude of the vector is 1 and its direction is the direction of a vector so a vector is 2 i cap plus 3 j cap and the magnitude of this is root over 13 so a cap would be 2 root 13 i cap plus 3 by root 13 j cap this is a unit vector you can verify this is a unit vector if this has a magnitude as 1 if you calculate the magnitude of this it would be 4 upon 13 plus 9 upon 13 which is indeed 1 so its magnitude is 1 and which has to come 1 because you have divided by the magnitude so the magnitude is 1 what are the, whatever the magnitude be let the magnitude be z and if you're dividing it by z then it will be cancelled and you'll get 1 as the magnitude so all you have to do to find a unit vector in a particular direction is you have to divide that particular vector by the magnitude of that vector and you will get a unit vector so this is a unit vector in this particular direction Okay?